Mighty Bill. Well, we're at Gedliston Lock. It's Saturday morning, about nine o'clock. We're all on our own. The big boats can't get in here very easy. Beautiful. We've been here a couple of days. It's, shouldn't say that. It's free 24 hour moorings. This is the boat. This is Judy 5. What's it for? Anyway. 34 foot long, 2.2 diesel. She handles like a dream. Nice driving position in the middle so you can see all four corners of the boat. She irons out the water. There's no weight unless you push her stupidly. Canopy comes down. 1950s. So that's the outside. Going in. On deck. Whoa. So inside, steering wheel, throttle, more gauges is like leisure battery and the battery for the engine. There's also a battery for the pumps. Under here, the 2.2 diesel engine. We have to do checks every morning. Check oil, check water, check the weed filter clear. That's a bit of effort and a bit messy. So look at that. This is the back end of the boat. And well, there's an IDOS in there. We were going to have four on here, but it's working well for two. I think for four you'd have to be military organised. There's an eye on. And obviously for two weeks we've got a bit of washing in it. It's a nice space. The cops, so if you're probably taller than 5'10", you might struggle a bit. We're sleeping separate. You can sleep in the same bed, but they're in a lot of space. So under here, we just go into the forward of the boat. That's where the batteries are. There's a useful cubby hole for storing stuff in there. Obviously, towels hang open. This is your bog. Typical sort of marine toilet. Yeah, good enough. Uh, sink, shower over sink. This lifts up to give you a shower tray. It's a bit cramped. You can't get showers on route. You need to have run the engine for 20 minutes to get some water for it. It's generally a glorified body wash. It's good. Kids, you're independent. So then, front. So you see, this is where we keep the guitar. <laughs> it's nice. We're using this as a living area, and we've got one of our holiday paraphernalia, our pets, of course. Table, which I thought would get in the way. It does a little bit, but it's helpful. We play games on it at night and stuff. There's a lot of cupboards in this bag. It's a nice storage space. Obviously, safety jacket. And going to the front, you've got the galley. So, this is the um, nutrition section, as you can see. Obviously cups of tea. Uh, fridge down here. That's quite a good fridge this. Fine. There we go. We've got a few days supply in there. So we're pretty self-sufficient. You have to boil the water on the boat to drink it. Uh, we've got some bottled water. The reason you have to boil the boat is it comes in off hose pipes off. off um, Key sides, so it can get contaminated. Not, not massively, but it's like a safety thing. And sunroof, come safety hatch. Really, is a safety hatch at the back. So that's Judith, sixty odd years old, showing her signs of wear. I mean, she's she's not super clean and tidy, but she is super full of character. Okay, mate, so that's it. Uh, there's TV there. Don't need one that. So don't get a boat like this to watch TV. Uh, so that's 
looking back. Look at your unlucky forward, and that'll be about it. Now, maybe shake the engine check separate. 